Hi guys, welcome back to Budget Beauty Month. And today's foundation review is going to be the Pro Base Longwear Matte Finish Foundation. If you didn't see yesterday's, it was the Collection Lasting Perfection Lightweight, what's it called? Weightless Foundation. Um, so if you wanna see what I thought of that one and a day test, you can go over and check that out. I'll link it below. Um, but today we're talking about this one, which I already have enjoyed. Um, as I said yesterday, I'm gonna be doing a half and half face. One half is gonna be with a damp beauty blender. The other half is going to be with a, it's the Real Techniques, this is not a beauty blender, it's the Real Techniques sponge, isn't it? The RT200 brush is basically a buffing brush. Um, and I'm not gonna be wearing anything underneath. So there's no moisturizer, there's no primer, there's no nothing. I find that historically foundations have the best chance of, of wearing nicely, applying nicely on my completely bare skin. So I wanna give them the best chance that I can. Um, but obviously you go for it with the primers and stuff as well. I just kind of wanna give you it as a totally just standalone, this is what the foundation is doing kind of review. The color that I have is 110. It is a little bit light for me right now because uh, I bought this in the springtime. Already it blends a thousand times better than yesterday's foundation. Um, this is gonna be basically like a, a real time day by day wear and compare without kind of compiling them all into one video. By the way, this is kind of um, late afternoon, evening time that I'm filming this now. I'm gonna be doing this until bedtime. Just trying to fit in as many as possible. So I've come home from work and I, I've just got like a little bit of time to do this. And I wanna be able to review as many things as possible. So that is where we're at. Um, also, I'm breaking out majorly and usually, Breakouts around my chin would be um, related to hormones. And there's a good chance that it is kind of hair removal related because I do get rid of a lot of hair from my chin. If you haven't seen videos that I've done about that. Um, however, I do think that um, my breakouts recently have been related to the fact that I have been reviewing so many different kind of products, um, which then makes it difficult to, to really place what it is. But I think my skin is kind of What's the word I'm looking for? Reacting. It's kind of having a little bit of a moment. Doesn't appreciate it. I love that. I love everything about it. The finish is beautiful. It's really just perfect. It kind of just looks like my skin. It doesn't look cakey. It doesn't look um, like anything at all. Slightly mattified, I would say. Uh, I can still see my skin through it. The perfect kind of coverage for me. I love this so much. So um, I'm going to do the other side with the brush and see if it applies as nicely. I'm trying to remain impartial. I was completely, well, like with each of the products that I'm trying, some of these I have used before. In fact, I think all of the foundations I will have used before because historically I just don't think that it works that well to do these kind of videos and it be a first impression. I think it's better to have said, um, you know, I'm gonna do all of this in one video and I'll tell you what I think, but I've already tried it with primers. I've already tried it with things underneath and stuff and I've already kind of formed my opinion before we do this and then you can make your own decision, seeing it in action for the day. Um, but I am trying to be objective because you know, you can always have your mind changed. There are products that I've really, really disliked, did not get along with it. And then one day I've picked them up and they've just worked perfectly. Um, so, you know, I realize I am coming across as like, I already love this product because I do. But who knows? There's always room to be surprised. I'm filming this at the end of August and I feel like I'm already ready for Halloween. This is super pale <laughs> for me right now. I feel a bit ghostly. Um, so just first impressions on how it's applied on either side. I would say that this is definitely, I mean, is there anything that doesn't apply better with a damp beauty sponge? I don't know, uh, but this for sure, it, it just works better on this side. This side with the brush, it's not bad. I, I wouldn't um, not apply it with a brush. I definitely, if I was just kind of in a rush and I had a brush there, no problem at all. I wouldn't kind of be nervous of applying it with a brush, but it definitely does settle more into pores. I think you get slightly heavier coverage. Both sides of the coverage is good. Both sides of the redness coverage, like it's it's kind of neutralized a lot. Um, but I would say kind of around my chin and around my pores where there's te texture on my face, it's not quite as perfected um, with the brush. I'm gonna put on some concealer. I am gonna just um, blend this in on all sides with the sponge, just because this is the way that I think that this applies best. One thing that I did learn from having my makeup done, I think it was at a Bobbi Brown, was it a counter or was it? It was somewhere to do with Bobbi Brown. And um, they said just to give it a few seconds for, for everything to settle once you put your concealer and your foundation on, and then to go back over underneath all the areas where you kind of find that um, it kind of creases or settles or whatever, go back over with the sponge and um, blend things out, make sure that they haven't, you know, blend out any like creases or anything and then set with powder because you don't want to set 
the creases. Makes sense to me. Um, so I'm just going to set with the smallest amount of powder. I'm going to put on this Soap and Glory Sexy Sunkissed Bronzer. What's it called? Solar Power. I used to love this so much. It's just a really nice, like a little amount of, of bronze colour and some glow all at the same time. And my favourite mascara, which is the Lash Sensational from Maybelline. I'm going to put on the same Soap and Glory. It's the Gloss Stick from um, the Sexy Mother Pucker range. Like I said yesterday, I don't know if this is still available, but I hope that it is. I really should look into this before tomorrow's video because I'm going to hopefully wear this in every one. Just really flattering, doesn't really add much of anything, but kind of gives a more polished look. I love it. And then when it settles, it just kind of leaves a slight glaze, but not too glossy, no amount of colour, and just, I don't know, like a healthy lip. All right, so let me bring you in as close as I can get so that you can really get an idea of the texture. Is this focused as well as it could be? Okay, there we go. Um, I just think it's, no, okay. <laughs> it's, it's got a mind of its own. I think that it's not really settling. I have seen a small amount of kind of creepiness and settling underneath the eyes, um, but I, I can't really see it doing anything bad in terms of um, my pores. I've got some dryness and like I say, some breakouts on my chin. I don't think that's too bad. Um, I do, I do have some hair on my top lip that needs to be removed. Uh, but again, I won't hold that against it because that's, that's not the fault of the foundation. Um, I don't think it's bad. I really, really like the finish. Everything, hang on. I look like I'm wearing a leaf headdress. Two! Oh man, don't you hate when that happens right after you've put mascara on? Okay, I think it can focus a little bit if we get a little bit further away. Um, oh no, I've also slightly rubbed away my foundation. That's possibly a mark against it. Yes. Finish is really, really nice. It feels lightweight. Um, coverage is good. I love it. So I'm going to come back to you a little bit later on today and we'll see how it actually wears because although I really do like this and I like the way it um, kind of looks on my face when I first apply it, it's one of my favourite budget foundations of the moment. I'm not sure whether or not I've ever come back to it hours later and really inspected my face. So I'm prepared to be disappointed. Um, however, I know that even if it's not wearing that well, I enjoy this foundation, so I'm not really biased, am I? I'm tired, you guys. I might not do this in the evening again. <laughs> I like taking off my makeup. I also was gonna wash my hair, and then I was like, I can't wash my hair while I've got the makeup on. Didn't think this through. One thing that I did do is, I've just bought um, a safety razor. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna talk about this in a different video, but I just bought a safety razor, and um, since I was gonna be kinda like standing up, I've been in the bath, out of the bath, Shaving the legs, blah, 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 blah. Um, but I've bought a safety razor and I used it for the first time um, in the meantime. So I've been in the bath and this is still. I felt like it could have a handicap. I felt like it could, it could survive. Um, but first impressions of that was really, really good. Um, so let me know. I think I'm going to do a sustainable beauty video at some point. Watch this space. But if you want a specific video on that, I might do that. Let me know. But overall, has not let me down. Um, definitely this side has kind of worn in a, in a way that's not quite as attractive as this side. This side kind of just all, all in all looks good still. Um, like I said, I haven't powdered. I used the smallest amount of powder to set it earlier on today. It's been about five and a half hours, so I haven't done a full day, but I think this is like a, a long enough period of time for you to see whether or not this is going to break down. We're not here trying to find something that's gonna last for 24 hours. It's more like a, how does this wear? And I think you can see that even after two or three hours, personally. So all around this area, which is kind of where I'm looking at usually, it's not really broken down around my nose. It's not clinging to any areas. I'll bring you in um, closer in a second. Uh, and it's not making anything look worse. But also, from a uh, an oily skin pers perspective, it's really kind of just give, it's, I've got a glow, but I don't feel like I look super, super shiny. Now I am kind of noticing it's broken down slightly around my nose. Hang on, can you see that? I don't know if it's broken down or if I've just kind of like touched my face and wiped it away. Kind of just there. Weird. Um, but I don't, I don't feel like it's like worn really too badly at all. Underneath my eyes, when I was having a look before I started filming, I noticed the smallest amount of kind of gathering in the creases just under my eyes. But again, more so on the brush side, than the um, sponge side. I think most products tend to apply better with a damp beauty blender or a damp beauty sponge if you've got one to hand, if you can use one and you care that much. But like I say, it's not enough for me to never use this with 
uh, a brush. It's just, you know, this is obviously optimum. All but for the, for the nose though. I'm really happy with it. So that was the Pro Base Longwear Matte Finish Foundation from MUA. Um, I actually didn't realize it was matte finish. I just thought Pro Base. I remember when I picked it up, I don't think that I bought it with kind of matte in mind. Um, I wouldn't say that it was matte. I would say it was satin. A nice natural finish, which is what I like from um, a foundation. I used to love a matte foundation, a very heavy powdered kind of all matte look, but um, just, you know, I'm going to be 34 next. A little bit of glow is on my side. Um, I like it. Two thumbs up, two enthusiastic thumbs up. Let us know if you have tried this, if you didn't like it, if you did like it, give some balance to my one person review. I've only got my experience and my face to work with here. So you know, a little bit of discussion in the comments is only gonna be a good thing. Um, if you enjoy this kind of video, there's gonna be lots this week specifically of foundation reviews on a budget. So if you like that kind of thing, look out for more of these. And if you like budget beauty in general, the entire month is going to be dedicated to that here on my channel. Uh, so don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys tomorrow. Every time I'm going out, the same things keep happening.